Hey everybody, my name is Dave Sheffield. I'm the owner of Buffalo Bottlecraft. We're a small manufacturing business based in Buffalo, New York, and we make gift products for the hockey, baseball, and golf niche. We do all of our prototyping, photography, the launch, and uh, full production in-house. We've got a unique set of uh, equipment that we use to do this. We've got a ShopBot desktop CNC router, a UV digital printer, which we can print on basically any three-dimensional object, and all your standard shop tools like chop saws, table saws, band saws, lots of saws. We sell on platforms like Etsy, Amazon, uh, our website, wholesale. Uh, we grossed just under $600,000 last year, and we're on track to grow by about 30 or 40% this year. We'll do like 40 or 50 grand a month in, in like our slower months, and then uh, up to like 100 to 150 in like the run up to Christmas. We've got a team of five people right now, one in full-time production, one in part-time production, part-time product development, one photographer slash videographer, one printer uh, shipper, and one person in the Philippines who does our uh, print setup. What you can expect to see on this channel is we're always coming out with new products, so we'll do like a weekly product development video where we'll look at, you know, say three products, one that is a brand new idea, one that is kind of coming along, you know, we have a, a few prototypes, we're troubleshooting it, we're trying to get the finished product, and then something that is like ready to go, we're gonna launch the thing next week, and we'll do that every week. So you'll be able to see something go, go from just an idea through sourcing, through setting up production, doing the photography, the video, building the listing, and we'll have some standalone videos that are kind of dedicated to those types of topics. That said, uh, we're gonna go through a quick shop tour, show you you know, the, the equipment that we have to work with here, show, us, show you the space, and then we'll show off some of our products and some of the stuff that we have in development. Join us for the ride. Hey guys, uh, all right, we're gonna do the shop tour. Uh, first, we're gonna check out our ShopBot CNC desktop router. So this thing is a beast right now. It's set up for uh, machining pucks into our uh, puck koozies. And this thing has machined uh, or, or run through probably 200,000 pucks uh, and, and golf balls in its life. It's like eight years old. Um, I keep wanting to buy a new machine, but this thing just keeps on kicking. We've replaced the router a couple of times, uh, replaced the bearings, but it's just a, it's a workhorse. So it's a desktop tool, but it's a production tool. Um, you know, uh, and over here, we've got our baseball uh, line where we do the cutting, uh, the sanding, the drilling, and then assembly of our, uh, our baseball bottle openers. And then we just have some workbenches to work with. You can see it's a small space and we're really um, getting strained here on space, but we, we, we do what we can. Um, over here, we've got uh, a workstation for one of my employees who does our uh, you know, uh, machining file setup and our product development. So he's working on a new file right now to make that, um, that uh, machining file more efficient because we're always trying to make things faster, make things take less time in that kind of lean manufacturing sense. So, and if you like lean manufacturing, you'll, you'll love this. Uh, we got our tool board here. So whenever you need something, you come here and you can instantly have a visual of what's available, you know, what you need. Um, and, you know, with the cutouts, you know where to put it back every time. So, you know, you're not digging through drawers, trying to find something. So we're always trying to make things more efficient here. Um, and that'll be a subject of like a lot of our videos is that kind of lean manufacturing concept. So um, now we'll, uh, oh, uh, if you just take a look at this side of the shop, you'll see all of our raw materials. So that's where we store, you know, all our baseballs, our pucks, our golf balls, our plates, screws, uh, a lot of stuff that that goes into making all these products so we kind of have to go up in this space we can't spread out anymore but uh, if you come over here we'll check out the printing area um, this is like the second 
uh, major piece of equipment in, in our kind of suite of tools. It's a UV digital printer. Um, you drop the product onto this print bed. It runs back in there and then it's like a, it's like a desktop printer. There's a big print head that kind of runs across and drops ink onto our products. So uh, anything that we make, we're making to sell as kind of a one-off. We'll sell a, a puck bottle opener, but we'll sell a puck bottle opener with, the, you know, with groomsmen's design, coaches' designs, um, you know, anniversary gifts. Like we can market it to, to a bunch of different things. So uh, we use Adobe Illustrator. Uh, this is one of our print files that we ran earlier today based off you know, all the orders that we get coming in from like Etsy, Amazon, our Shopify store. Uh, this is kind of our work list for the day and we'll just go through product through product, um, print stuff and, and ship it out. So uh, if you look here, this is kind of the variation of like really different products and materials that we can print on. So you've got wood, metal, uh, plastic, uh, painted wood, leather, rubber um it's it's really you can really print anything with this with this printer so it gives us a lot of capability when we're trying to come up with new product ideas um, and we do focus on like customization a lot for our products so uh you can see here you know we, we have we can print full photos um and that gives us a, a big edge when we're trying to sell online the personalization aspect so um if you come across the hall uh, we'll check out our photography area. Um, so it's, it's small, but you know, we make do, uh, we've got, uh, all our color backdrops here so we can print or we're sorry, we can, f uh, photograph and video on white, red, blue. Um, that really helps our product photography pop because, you know, it's, it's not something you can pick up and look at in the store. It's online. So just the, the photography and the video is so, so important. Um, so we put a big emphasis on that. Uh, and if we come back, uh, we'll take a look at some of our, uh, products that we produce here and, uh, some stuff that we're putting through the product development cycle. So, uh, our, our kind of products that we launched on were these bottle openers. So, uh, a bottle opener out of a hockey puck, a baseball, and a, uh, golf ball that you can... Uh, clip onto a golf bag, so um, there, save that for later. Um, and then we've got um, so that's the, that's like a, what our initial product line was, but we're constantly trying to come up with new products. So uh, I'm gonna go kind of this way on the table and take you from something that's like really fresh to something that is like just launched and doing you know starting to do well. Um, so this is our uh, new, newest idea. It's a puck, or sorry, a baseball phone stand. Um, so this was like our first concept. I just like carved that out on the bandsaw and used a chisel to carve it out. And it, you know, it worked. It kind of proved the concept, but uh, this was our next attempt. And uh, I carved this out with a half inch end mill on our drill press and just used a vise. Um, but the uh, cleaning the leather up was very difficult, so I, I bought the steel rule die um, and was testing it out. And it actually does cut like a very clean cut. Um, so uh, this one is like very fresh; still needs to be you know finished in terms of prototyping, and then we'll work on our production. Um, these ones are kind of our next big launch. We've been working on these for months, um, so it's a it's a a uh, flask out of uh, golf balls and a flask out of a baseball. So these are the, the flasks that we sourced um, and we like literally just got the whole huge box of them in from China, um, a thousand of each flask. Um, so now that we have them in house, we're gonna finish up the, the final prototype typing so we can do photography um, and we gotta work on our production too. It's like, and it's just, it's small things. Like we gotta figure out a way to like clean up this edge, right? Uh, because it's just a little rough right now and we wouldn't be able to like get, use that as like a final product. Um, so sometimes that stuff can trip us up for like weeks. Um, but uh, here's something that was like a, 
a pretty quick development cycle. It's a, it's a, it's a puck stand out of a puck. So um, I'm excited. Uh, we just finished up the photogra uh, product photography today, but kind of the prototyping, we just did the prototyping in our shop bot and we used a half inch uh, ball end mill to, or three eighth inch ball end mill to go around and carve that out. And again, it's, it's about proving the concept first, um, but looks pretty jet, uh, ragged um, and using a three axis uh, mill, it just wasn't gonna work. So we bought this massive uh, uh, shaper router bit and the first time we tried to do it, it just like <laughs> tore the puck out, ripped it apart. Um, but you know, we iterated on our design, our fixturing, and now it's like a really nice, beautiful, clean cut. And you know, you're gonna be able to buy this in the next uh, two to three weeks when we get like our listing set up, do our keyword research, stuff like that. So um, this is another uh, product that we just launched that has actually been quite successful, selling a ton of them on Etsy, but it's a um, koozie out of uh, hockey pucks. So um, slips right in there, but you know, it's just a regular hockey puck that we carve out. Uh, we carve into rings, have to deburr it. Um, and now that we're selling them, we're like, okay, we got to make these faster. That's why earlier in the video, you saw us working on the uh, machining program to make it faster. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the type of like, you know, you saw four products right there that we've been working on. Um, and we've got a lot, a lot of ideas in the, in the pipeline. So we're going to be, uh, kind of going through that whole ideation, prototyping, photography, video launch, and then kind of improving the production once it does start selling. So yeah, that's what you can expect. Uh, if you, if you subscribe and uh, join the channel and, uh, keep, keep, uh, posted for more videos to come.